So basically, this video shows you how to raise a CD rewritable um, disc and burn burn it to um, a new playlist that you've created. And why do we need to do this? And it's it's because you can burn new music onto um, a rewritable disc that has already been burned in the past. So you need to erase the CD RW, which stands for rewritable, and burn burn a fresh set of you know playlist onto the CD rewritable disc. And why is this possible? And it's because it's not just like a CD ROM. Um, only read only um, disc it's a, it's a rewritable disc and so so you know the activity or the process is is perfectly fine to, to burn you know a fresh playlist so I would insert the disc into my computer and it would prompt me with the with this with, you know, with the dialog screen asking if I want if I want to reap you know the the music that's currently on the CD ROM onto my com onto my computer um, if I want to, this 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 is the music that's there. If I want to, I do that. But if I don't want to, you know, you know, the action is is no. Um, then I would. But if you want to input the music files into your library, um, the then you click the the yes button. Um, so basically, I don't want to. So I just go, you know, click the no and click the the finder button at the bottom left and scroll up to uh, where I can find Grime Mix, which is the CD that's inserted. Click on that. Right, click on on Grime Mix and click um, erase the rewritable disc Grime Mix, and you know, I'd click erase again. So that starts erasing the disc to be a perfectly blank CD. So a perfectly blank rewritable um, disc is, is what we have. Um, so I'd, after reformatting or, or you know erasing the disk, it prompts me with a dialog screen saying, "Look, you know you've got, you've inserted a blank disk." So that tells me that I've successfully erased the disk. I could choose eject, and that ejects you know the CD. If I don't want to um, just leave it at that, I could proceed to to burn a new um, playlist onto the CD. So I'd pretty much show you how to do that. You know, we click OK here. And go on to the um, playlist where you see the um, music playlist. Just go on to the playlist and click any playlist that you want to burn. Right click on that and then um, click burn to disk. You know, it, it you know copies the disk, the disk um, verbatim. Um, you know, it's a rewritable disk, so it should work. So I click burn and it starts burning. And when it's about to finish, it says finish it. But just make sure that you know you click. You know, use sound check, include CD text, or whatever, whatever attributes you want. Um, click on that, and it starts burning to disk. It, it's initializing, and um, subsequently, when it's about to finish, it says finishing, and uh, you know that way you've got your CD burnt. Um, you've got all you know the playlist onto the disk. If you found the information in this video useful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. You know, and hopefully um, catch up with you soon. As soon as I've got more upcoming videos. Goodbye.